Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stock of Cornet Digital Limited and the stock is showing recent move but the highlighting factor of uh, this stock is the trend over a period of time. You can see any move in the past one month, six month, one year or even five year. It's been a staggering amount of rise and the stock has been moved in a quite a steady manner over a period of time and uh, this is this has accelerated the PE because the PE meanwhile has been moved by more than 410 so uh, this does not looks very good but if the market is rewarding you you know everybody wants to be on the uh, you know on the on that particular card so let's see what's the thing that you need to look at and what further has happened so this is the recent news that you can see as far as the stock is concerned so Cornet digital announces pricing of upsized public offering of ordinary shares so the company develops design and markets innovative sustainable on-demand digital fashion and textile production technologies announced today the pricing of an upsized upsized underwritten public offering of 2.6 million ordinary nearly 2.6 million and something 2645953 is the uh, number ordinary shares at a portic at a price to the public of 151 uh, dollars per share and Conic is uh, offering 1.9 uh, million ordinary shares and an affiliate of Amazon INC is offering uh, 700 5973 ordinary shares so this is what we have as far as the latest news is concerned now this uh, somehow falls into a tech category kind of stock now whether 410 PE is sustainable or not let the market decide but uh, as far as the trend or stock is concerned that we are going to analyze so you can see there has been a very sharp move and if you are holding this stock from the lows of 2016 you have made a decent amount of return uh, or 2000 percent worth of return but uh, you know if you are comparing it with other market participants even 2000 percent return looks very small but uh, we have uh, we have positive numbers here uh, just in case i'm talking about p we have positive numbers here and that's why we have uh, p and all those figures and in market you will find companies where you don't have anything but still uh, just you will find only two news shorts and short sellers or short buyers that's it apart from that you won't find anything so there are uh, different participants different kind of stock and they have different expectations right now what we have here are two specific levels to look at first of all 120 121 this will be a stop loss so don't go below 120 dollars on the downside now the immediate upside we have here is uh, uh, let me show it to you so the immediate upside we have here is 220 dollars so this is the first and uh, the immediate target we have here but as you can see this is a range so this will turn out to be a resistance as well so 220 is the first thing that we are going to look at now if the stock makes a breakout beyond 220 or 221 dollars in that case we will see some very big moves going forward because it will be considered as a breakout and in that case you know then forget about p market will do what it intends to do before the stock actually started falling down so beyond 220 221 if the stock started moving then the swing target will push the price towards or in between a range which is uh, uh, 500 and 690 so the range is between 500 and 690 dollars on the upside so this is what we are looking at 
with a simple thing that you can do that if you are holding this stock or if you intend to hold with this uh, this particular or if you want to look this particular stock coordinate digital then don't go below 121 dollars uh, on the downside so this is the end of the video thanks for watching